Hi everyone, I'm Sana reporting from Austria. Today I've asked 10 young people who were born and raised in Austria but have foreign backgrounds to tell me more about their experience with racism, how they deal with it and how it affects them. And these were the results. experienced discrimination for my ethnicity, my religion and uh, based on my gender. Yes, I experience it a lot, um, almost every day. For being a black Muslim woman. Because of my race my skin color and my choice of clothing. For being a woman, for being Muslim and wearing hijab. I feel like it mostly affects my self-esteem. It indeed affects me psychologically. That my future is uncertain in Austria. It affected my school life. I have more difficulties in the labor market. Finding a job and enjoying my free time. Finding a job and university. I try not to give it a lot of attention, but I do stand up for myself. Sometimes I address it. Mostly try to ignore the discriminations. I talk with my friends about it. Racism is a very important and difficult issue, which affects many people at some time. Today I'm going to be interviewing Muktaba, who has organized the Black Lives Matter movement in Vienna. Muktaba, what moved you to do this? And did you expect that 50,000 people are going to take part of your demo? After seeing the video of George Floyd being murdered, it was important to not only show our solidarity with the movement in the United States, but also make people understand that systemic racism is a problem globally that affects black people every day, everywhere, and has also cost a lot of lives of black people in Austria. Uh, because normally when black people talk about structural racism or racism in general, nobody wants to listen to them. They don't get the chance to make their voices be heard. And that's why we're so surprised that so many people showed up. Thank you. Muktaba, how do you think that young people should deal with racism and social and racial discrimination? As young people, we need to understand that racism is a structural problem, which means not only speaking up when we see injustices in our everyday lives, but also undoing racism in institutions like our educational system, our asylum system, in our workplaces. Thank you, Muktaba, for joining me. Thank you, Sana and Team Harmony for having me.